Hey, 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 it's me, Curtis, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the hidden reason to why you can't transform your body. When it comes to weight loss, a lot of people think it begins with dieting or going to the gym and exercising, but I don't believe that's where you start. Come here. A little closer. Not quite. There you go. To transform your body, you first have to transform your mindset. You have to adopt a new way of thinking. Trying to lose weight is pointless if you don't have the proper mindset because you're gonna fail time and time again. You'll be eating healthy the first week and break down binge eating the next. It's gonna become this vicious cycle that's gonna set you back and discourage you. A negative attitude looks something like this. Thinking that all healthy food tastes disgusting, dreading every single time you have to go to the gym and work out. Hating yourself for eating the wrong kinds of food. Being too hard on yourself for no reason whatsoever, and etc. It's hard to explain what having a positive mindset is like. It just kind of clicks for you. Though it's not something that just happens the next day when you wake up. It's like losing weight. You need to put time and effort into developing it. Everyone talks to themselves. We've all got this little voice in our head that speaks to us. You'll need to become best friends with that voice. You'll need to talk about yourself with yourself in a much more positive manner. That makes sense, right? For example, let's say you step on the scale and you find out that you've gained a single pound after a week of hard dieting and training. A negative person would be a little something like this. How could have I not lost weight? I've been dieting and exercising for the past few weeks. And I haven't even lost a single pound. I don't think I can do this anymore. Though, a positive person would look like this. I mean, throughout the day before stepping on the scale, but just in case I had a little bit more cardio this week, I've got this. BANG! POSITIVITY! Now I know what you're thinking, but Curtis, how do you understand the feelings of these people who are struggling with weight loss, with their negative attitudes? I've been there before. Being a person who was once fat, that inner voice tore me a new one every single day relentlessly. More so than I was getting bullied at school. I, I would always say to myself that I'm fat, useless, disgusting, a waste of space. Why do I even bother living on this planet anymore? I might as well just kill myself. These thoughts were going through my head constantly. I struggled with self-hate for a long time. And trust me when I say it eats away at you. Now, more importantly, have I cured my problem with self-hate? No. I don't think I'm ever going to. It's going to become a permanent problem in my life. I always have a positive attitude, but these feelings of self-hate sneak up on you when you least expect it. That's why you have to develop a positive mindset. For when these feelings do come and attack you, it's strong enough to take it head on. Degrading yourself constantly is going to ruin you, not just in weight loss, but your life in general. They're not kidding when they say that you are your own greatest enemy. Try to find a new way to look forward to your workouts. If you've been on the same routine for months and you're bored of it, switch it up. If you're not a fan of the healthy food you're currently eating, put more effort into cooking. Spice it up a bit. Have some fun. Believe in yourself and the hard work that you put into yourself. This positive mindset that you're developing is going to help you lose weight. But more importantly, it's going to help you become a better you. Do you have a positive mindset or a negative mindset? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like the video, pa, 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 pound that like button and subscribe for more of that quality content. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye.